everyone and welcome to another vlog. It is Friday. Um, I This week, I know I vlogged my work day on Tuesday, but my week was really, really packed. A lot of big things. For example, um, yesterday was December 1st, so yesterday the doors opened to Divinity. If you don't know what Divinity is, it is my monthly spiritual membership. A lot of you guys who watch are probably inside. It's a global community. It is so amazing. Every single month I host two ceremonies, workshops, slash rituals. They're different events every month. So for example, last month we had a lunar eclipse full moon ceremony we had a financial abundance ceremony previous months we've had like a new moon ceremony a um a rebirth ceremony obstacle remover ceremony we've had literally everything they're always changing and it's really really exciting and so the doors open on the first of every month because that that way you're able to get access to not only the live events if you can make it live but if you can't make it live with your membership you get access to both the full recordings so you get to keep those so for december the two events are on december 8th and december 15th all via zoom the event on december 8th is from 5 to 6 30 p.m pacific and it is a full moon full moon in gemini ceremony ritual and then on the december 15th the following thursday is an activate 2023 ceremony ritual so it's getting clear and setting our intentions while we're in this sagittarius season this energy of expansion this energy of shooting our arrow forward we're going to be doing a, a ceremony to get our intentions and our energy aligned for 2023 instead of just waiting until it's january 1st and then being like okay what are my goals what are my intentions it's just a really beautiful way to kind of get that going and on the previous week so on december 8th we'll be just doing a full release an emotional release an emotional clearing of this year no matter how your year went we're just going to be literally doing a full just clearing a release a full letting go so that we can make space literally both literally and energetically in our lives to be open up to the new we have to like close a chapter learn our lessons from it think it and let it go so that we can open ourselves up to a different experience and so like they, if you join today or when you join today you'll get access to the guide so you'll get all the zoom info and everything like that and then you can like i said come live if you're able to come live and if you're not able to come live don't worry you'll get the full recording so um definitely join divinity it is so so amazing if you wanted to find a way to work with me it's a really great deal you get such a big you get a big chunk off instead of buying one-time tickets so for example i also will sell one-time tickets to these events but by joining divinity you are getting access to both events and their full recordings and you get a chunk of money off so i've been working on that i've been yesterday i shipped your lift your frequency orders so those like i said are different for me to make depending on inventory and i also hand make all of them so if you're wanting if you've been wanting an order from lift your frequency my jewelry crystal line crystal jewelry line then get your order in because it takes up to take up to a week for me to get them done and shipped depending like i said on inventory and how many people's orders are ahead of you but i was shipping those yesterday so long story short it's been such a such a packed week and so yesterday i started the vlog but then i ended up kind of going and doing my doing everything else and kind of didn't continue with the vlog but i'll show you yesterday i put up we put up our christmas tree and i decorated it so i'll share it today today right now is like whenever i have any kind of like beauty maintenance to do i try to do it on a friday fridays are ruled by the planet of venus so i like doing it on friday so today i just got my uh more of a melt put in my hair i used to always pretty much get my hair like blonde highlighted to the top and i noticed that because it's actually a really good sign because my hair is healthy it would grow out quickly but then it would just look like this really harsh root right it would just look like a line like my, my normal hair color which is like a darker blonde or you could even say a light brown right most people are like oh, it's darker blonde <laughs> it's like a darker blonde is growing out it just looks like this cut line so i've been now getting like a root melt so that as my her hair does grow out it just lasts a little bit longer and it looks a little bit more natural so it just has like a little bit of that root color which i like i feel like it adds also some dimension mia's here with me i thought my hair part was going to take much longer so i took her with me otherwise i would have left her at home with my husband also now i'm headed to a nail appointment one of my nails broke off so i'm headed to a nail appointment i think i'm just going to do baby pink it's also a really rainy day outside right now like it's raining and it's, in, it's gloomy um so i'm going to go to my nail appointment i think i'm gonna do like i said baby pink like i want to do like a really really baby milky pink i also need my toes done so we'll see how that goes i'm gonna have mia so i don't know if she'll be able to i'll be able to have her on my lap and have my nails and toes done but ideally i want my toes done too fridays like i said i will do in the morning right now it's only it's only one o'clock my hair appointment is at 11. i usually will do all my beauty stuff in the morning on fridays 
I also parked in the spot that is so tight, you guys. Like, literally, I'm not kidding. My car was this far away from the pillar. But there was literally no other spot, and I was running late for my appointment, so I was like, I'm gonna make it work, so now I have to back out of this. Thankfully, a lot of the men who work here are really helpful, and they all were like, let me know if you need any help, because it's like very, very tight. So, we're on to our adventure. Let me know how you like your hair done, and if you're blonde, definitely try it. Ask this show, it's called, you can look up the hashtag on Instagram, like lived in, lived in hair, lived in hairstyle, lived in color, all those hashtags to get the vibe of like, how they put, to, how they color the roots that it just looks more natural. I really, really like it. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> so, I just got my nails and toes done. It actually took quite a while. My nail girl's amazing. And I love seeing her. She just looks so talented. And I just got a plain color. Normally I do a design, but really recently I've noticed that I feel like with anything, anytime I get a design because it's different, I get sick of it quickly. So like, I like it when I get it. And I keep my nails for a long time. I'm not someone who changes them like every two weeks usually, unless like a nail breaks. But I keep my nails sometimes for like, four to six weeks. I have gel X nails, so they're really, like I feel like in my opinion, they don't damage your nails as much. They're much easier. They maintain, you may maintain like a consistent, easy shape every time. And a nice shape that I like. I get this short, short round. If you ever get gel X, that's the one I get. Um, here's this color. This color, I'll put it on the screen. It's by Presto and it's color number 366. It's like the most beautiful, like baby pink, chalky, milky white. I love it um so that's what it looks like so pretty I'll put it on the screen if you want a screenshot if your salon has it Presto is one of my favorite nail color lines by the way so if you ever get find a salon that carries it I recommend trying it you can buy it yourself as well I'm pretty sure I don't think you need like a license I think to at least just buy the color and then you could bring it in I really suggest that line I've liked it for a long time and I got it I get gel on my toes as well because it lasts like for me if I'm going to get my nails and toes done i keep it for a while that's why i've also been sticking to more neutral colors recently because i just want it to kind of go with all my outfits and stay longer i don't know, i guess it's so funny as you get older you get more like practical i don't know when i was younger if you watch my vlogs i'd get like long nails and like glitter and funky designs and like i don't know just so like really fun stuff and i just feel like now i'm like short almond and like neutral like i had um, white before this the design and then I, and one of my nails broke off I think it's because I was in the water in Hawaii and that affected like how well it was I think it was maybe one of them wasn't sealed on the best uh, before that I had like a pinky nude I think the next time I'll do like a nude nude maybe next time I'll do like a milky white like I feel like I'm just gonna stick in that stick to that family because I like how they look I find like you don't I don't get sick of them because they're just in the color family I like and they match everything I'm wearing versus like if everything and I'm like my Mars and Virgo likes that cohesiveness. There's so much traffic right now. Mia's really tired as well. Um, I just didn't want to, I didn't know that my hair was going to be really quick. Right now I'm actually going to stop at my parents' house on the drive because um, for one of the things for Christmas that I asked for was an aura ring. You probably know. If you don't know what an aura ring it is, it's a ring that you wear on your finger and the, 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 mo the, it basically is known for tracking your sleep. It'll also track your heart rate variation, which if you look at it over time and you can able to find what your like kind of normal, your normal range is, then you'll be able to track like when you're more anxious and stuff throughout the day. Obviously you can track that just intuitively by feeling, but you'll be able to kind of um, look at your heart rate variability and then sleep. Like it's really much known for you tracking your sleep, which is what I want to do because I know what a good nighttime routine does to my sleep, but I don't always stick to it. I'm really, I think, phenomenal at sticking to my morning routine, but the evening routine, like I know that if I journal, meditate, have magnesium and GABA and do my skincare and shower, like I'm going to have a good sleep, but I just want to track my sleep more just so I can like see some factors that influence to better sleep, worse sleep, etc. But essentially why I'm saying this is that um, I didn't know what size I would be because I'm going to wear it on my left hand. On my right hand, I have all these like all my rings, so I don't really want to wear it anywhere in here. And on my left hand, obviously I don't wanna, I'm not going to wear it on like my finger of my wedding band and engagement ring but I want to I want I'm gonna get it silver so it matches and I'm gonna wear it on this pointer finger and I don't know what size it would be because your left hand I believe is usually smaller than your right and I think my fingers are way smaller than I thought for example usually I thought I was a seven but like my left hand's a little bit looser so anyway I didn't know what size 
ring Abby's because my parents were gonna order it for me and uh, so I you can order a sizing kit so like you can know what size it is so you purchase the correct size so I'm gonna go and see I have intuitive feeling I'll still be a seven probably just so it's not super tight but I just want to check for sure just in case because I don't want them to get the incorrect size and have to send it back so I'm gonna stop um, and we'll do the sizing kit and then head back home it's already 433 right now I think this is an all-day <laughs> this is an all-day adventure Okay, so I'm at my parents' house. This is a sizer, by the way. I definitely suggest if you do get an O-ring, you get a sizer. Also, see if I have any kind of link I can get you. This looks like this. And I think I'm going to be a 7, intuitively. That's kind of... Wow, 7's really tight. Like, very... What? Oh my god, it's like stuck. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I got seven. I got it, I got it. Yeah, eight. I, so eight. Which is crazy. Good thing I ordered the sizer. I'm never an eight. This hand is like, this one is uh, like six and three, three, three and four quarters one of these. Isn't that crazy, the difference? My wedding, my engagement ring is seven and the other ring is six and three and, and three fourths. And this is an eight. Wow. They're really small. And also the difference between seven and eight, who wants a toy? The difference between seven and eight is so slight. I want you to see this. Look, this is seven, this is eight. Doesn't the difference look so, like barely there? So I recommend, if you're gonna get one, to definitely get the sizer, and if in doubt, I would size up, because I've never been an eight. Like, these are seven, and like, they're a bit loose even, I would say. A tiny bit, which is good, because I want room. But definitely eight. Be don't give her too many. Mia's playing with her toy. She's been out all day. All right, that's my aura ring update. I didn't get to show you the tree yesterday, so I wanted to show you the tree. I told you this is the Balsam Hill tree. Again, I'll look up if I can find any code or anything like that. I always um, strive to do so if, if I can. But I just wanted to show you. I don't remember which one I got, but I'm sure I could find the order if you want to know which exact one we got. But, like, really great size. I feel like it's a good size. I don't feel like it's small. I don't feel like it's, like, ginormous. I just feel like it's, like... This sounds so funny, but it just feels like the average Christmas tree size. Like, the ceilings in here are pretty tall, and, you know, it still has a lot of room. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's not a small tree, but I don't feel like it's a ginormous tree. I feel like it's the perfect size. Mia's here, too. Um, but all the ornaments literally are from CB2. I'll show you, kind of do a little mini ornament tour, and it's kind of funny. But, like, the, I'll show you the ones I got last year are, like, these ones. I'll link these. I'll link all the ornaments I can find that I have down below for you guys so it's easier. Last year I ordered everything online, like literally all the ornaments online. It was really great. They arrived really quick. I don't know, it was a nice experience. Uh, except for, I have these ones that my friend got me, which I'll show you. But these are from CB2. They're like a white with a glitter. I love it. Also, the lights are on the tree, you guys. So like, it's also really nice because you literally just, there's just like a button and you click on the lights and off. So the lights are already interwoven into the tree, which I feel like also is really nice because otherwise you have to buy a tree it has to be like cut down, you have to drive it to your house. Then you have to like put the ornaments on and put the lights on. I don't know, and I feel like to make it look nice with lights is kind of hard. This like looks so even, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm inspiring you to get a, get a tree <laughs> like this, but um, I know I love the glittery ones, so beautiful. Then these little snowflakes. A lot of the stuff they have is in silver and gold, which I like. I don't want to have it all one color. like. At first I thought I wanted all silver, all gold, but it's a few tones. Here we have like a silver disco ball. This was like a collection they did last year with some interior designer, I think, or I know it was a collaboration, but there's a bunch of different sizes like disco balls. I thought these are so cool. I wish I could have a whole tree of these, but they came in like a pack of five and they were definitely a bit more on the expansive side. So like, uh, I just remember that they came like, see there's another one here. It came with like a few random sizes of them. I don't remember how many, not not too, too many, and I definitely I remember it was quite a bit, so, um, yeah, <laughs> but I do love these, like, I feel like a whole tree with these, maybe somewhere else, maybe, like, on Etsy, or on Amazon, or maybe somewhere else you could find them for a better deal, because I remember, like, a small pack, like, a little box, I want to say it was, like, $60 or something, else, which is intense, I feel like for, you need a lot of those boxes to fill up your tree, so, I feel like somewhere else, like, on Etsy or somewhere, like, I was saying you could find disco balls if you want to do disco balls on your tree, so you came with like a bunch of different sizes also. And these are like more of a red plummy color. 
Um, the, these selenite sticks my friend got me um, as a gift. I think she got them on Etsy. It's so beautiful. I know she was like, it took a while to come, but you know, selenite is very cleansing of the energy. So I like love that, and it's also really beautiful. Mia's barking here. Um, these little ones are also from CB2. I think they came in like a box set. I think I got two boxes, maybe one box. I think I got one or two boxes, but they came come with like these white milky ones. These ones are kind of annoying to put on, you know, because you have to like hook the clap. You have to like take the hook out, hook it onto the tree, and push it through this thing. So it's a bit more effort. But I like the I like them too. They're like the classic Christmas ornaments. There's some gold ones, like white shimmery. Came with a variety pack. I'll see if they have them too. I like those, like a white, more like a white pearly one. It's like one of those gold little ornaments that I showed you. The ones that I got yesterday when I went are these ones. I love these ones, you guys. Like these speak to my soul. I feel like they're just so, I don't know, they're so glamorous, I feel, right? They're like these huge stars and they have like glitter. I don't know. They literally are just like, something about them just like screams cosmic to me. I love these. I got those. And I got these little trees yesterday. They're like just a white, they're, they're white and then they have like a, I would say like a white glitter it seems, or like a clear glitter on them. So those are that, but those are pretty much all the ornaments. Oh, this is the outfit, I literally rewore my outfit from the other day because I liked it so much that I need to get, I, I'm on the last day of my period, at least I think it's the last day. And I want it to be comfortable. Um, but I, so, so cause this is my thing. I was like, I want to wear, I don't, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to wear pants. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to wear a dress. And then I was like, okay, well if I wear a dress, it needs to be comfy, right? I'm not going to, and if I wear, then I was like, and then I need to be warm because it's cold and I need also to wear a jacket. This is how, I was like, this is the perfect outfit. So I'm wearing this dress, which is from Line by K. They still sell it. I think it's like, look how, I know my arm, you guys, this is like, this is kind of crazy. My arms have gotten so big from pole. Also, I, I'm trying to do put this away with the laundry. It's supposed to be my job, so <laughs> ignore that mess. I'm supposed to be doing that. Um, but my arms have gotten so big from pole. It's actually crazy, you guys. Like, I'm gonna flex my arms. It's crazy. My husband's always like, I can't believe it. Like, because it's actually crazy, you guys. Like, it's they've gotten so huge. This is like my arms not not even flex. Like, I didn't even I didn't even work out today. Like, if I even like did Pilates today or had any kind of like pump as a bodybuilder, I should call it, they'd be even bigger. But like, look how big my arms have gotten from pole, you guys. Like, this is crazy. Like, I understand. Like, it is crazy. I I see it in the mirror. I can't believe it. But my arms like have gotten so big from pole. Like, look, I mean, like, they don't even look like my arms. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. But yeah, anyway. And like, that's, about, like, after I work out, I feel like they're even more pumped. But okay, so the dress is lined by K. Classic. I literally, when I saw it, it was a full pussy ass for me. I fell in love with it. I was like, I need this. My body knew, and it's so crazy. I've had this since 2020, and it's I still am equally in love with it. Meaning, if I saw it today, I would still buy it. Like, I love when that's how I try to buy pieces that it, they that they feel like I need this. Like, yes, of course, sometimes I have to be like more logical or like I need to buy a plain white shirt. But I still just try to find items I'm really excited about that I love. Something at least kind of unique about it. There's something that makes me like love it because then I know I'm gonna keep it in my closet for a long time. Also, it's like a it's like a kind of timeless. I feel like because you can wear it like right now in the winter. How I layered it in the summer, you can wear it. Uh, and then I wore, this is an A9 Bing blazer. I love her blazer. I think they're amazing quality. A really good investment in my opinion. I wore that. Um, my shoes, I wore cowboy boots. I forgot what the brand is. But they're from Revol. If, if someone, if you, if you, someone really wants to know, leave me in the comment. I'll find it. Hopefully. It's called, I think it's called an F. But if you look at what cowboy boots on, it, it, it is like a higher end brand and they're really good quality. It's not like a Jeffrey Campbell. No offense, I know that they make those shoes, but it's like, they're kind of known for their cowboy boots. It's like Fond Ray. I don't know, I have to find it. Um, and then my earrings are Kuyana. I get a lot of questions about these. I love these. Um, I think that they're really nice quality. It's like a sustainable brand. And yeah, then I wore, so I wore this with my cowboy boots and it was the perfect outfit because I feel like it was still really stylish. So everyone was like, oh, you look so put together today. <laughs> Um, but it's really comfy like this dress makes me feel like I'm wearing sweatpants and it's long It's a it goes all the way to like It's a long dress, but also has a slit in the back 
which I feel like gives it a little bit like really low though, a sexy feel. Blazer, I feel like just makes it look classic, plus it's warm. And then I wore also, I'm wearing wool socks <laughs> in my cowboy boots, so it gave me warm. So like, I'm really proud of this outfit choice because it was so comfortable, but looked so put together and warm, which I feel like getting all three of those is hard. Like I feel like sometimes you can be comfy, but then maybe you don't look put together. Maybe you're comfy and you're warm, but you don't look put together. Or maybe you're put together and warm, but you don't look, but you don't, you aren't comfortable. Maybe you're put together and comfortable, but you're not warm. Warm, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's hard to get all three. So yeah, that's my finale. It's my end of the vlog for today. It's literally 6.10 right now. Um, I stopped at my parents' house and I ate there. My mom fed me. Perks of my parents, your perks of stopping by your parents' house. So she fed me dinner. Um, I, I really like this nail color, brother. This is it in like a more natural light. It's really interesting. It's like it's really hard to describe. It literally is like a baby pink, if, but like a chalky baby pink with mixed. With, I'm supposed to say nude, but not really. It's so pretty. It got on my toes too. So yes that is that all right um today's vlog was i feel like really long even though i just chatted most of the time if you enjoyed this episode i'm gonna make oh this is magnesium i take by the way it's the symbiotica magnesium l3 and 8 i think i'm gonna make, make a tea with this i want to you guys so the last thing last thing you guys my husband and i have a show it's like our show but i love it so much and i sometimes want to watch it and I don't want to wait until we watch it together. And I watched three episodes of it yesterday. I told him I didn't hold back. Well, I don't know if I told him to watch three. I think maybe I told him to watch two.